we have all run up against limitations in the Autodesk Fusion 360 drawing environment. In this particular case, I need to show a pitch diameter for this V-belt pulley. And there's no method of putting a center line in on this section view to put a dimension between. So what I'm going to do is show you a method of doing this from the model as a small cheat. So we go back to the model and we start by making a work plane that is just behind this section plane in the drawing. So I pick on this and I move backwards away from it by minus 0 0.001 inches. That means I'm creating a sketch plane that is just behind the cutting plane in the drawing. On that particular plane, I will make a new sketch. I'm going to go ahead and slice it and draw me two lines that represents the pitch diameter of the pulley. Make sure they're horizontal. Make me another one at the bottom. Now I'm going to line the endpoints up to make sure they're the same length. Just do that very quickly, a couple of vertical dimensions and uh, constraints, excuse me. Then I'm going to dimension from the center to that line on both sides to give it the actual pitch diameter, or pitch radius in this case. So the pitch radius is five and three quarters divided by two. It's a five and three quarter pitch diameter. I'll do the one same one on the other side just to constrain the line. So from the center to the line, place it and I'll just copy the dimension. So there now we have our pitch, pitch diameter defined in this particular drawing. Finish my sketch. Now going back to the, well, save it first. Now going back to the drawing, I do an update. And then I look under the browser and find my sketches and turn on the sketch. And you'll see that the sketch lines appear in the model. Now I can quickly go ahead and dimension these for my pitch diameter. It's five and three quarters. Go ahead and modify that to the diameter. And then at the end, I'll put PD for pitch diameter. Now, using that sketch, I just made some quick lines to represent my pitch diameter. A similar problem occurs when I want to put a dimension for the keyway. You can only dimension the keyway from the end of the cut to the far side of the board, and there's nothing to hook to. So we can solve the problem using the same method back in the model. In the model, I'm going to make a new sketch on this surface. I'm then going to project this, the bore, and then I'm going to put a point on that projection. I'm not going to put it right below the center. I'm going to snap, put a constraint on it to snap it in place. So I put a vertical constraint between the origin, and there it is, perfectly below the origin. Finish my sketch and save my model. Moving back into the drawing. Do an update, and now I can make that sketch visible and dimension to the bore with ease. So, dimension from this point to that point down there, and I have my correct dimension. So, as you can see, sketches can be used to get around a couple problems in your drawing environment. I hope this helps you in some way.